Okay, everybody, welcome back once again. It's Albert LaBelle, and uh, it is another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. That's right. Uh, this time around, I got something a little different. Uh, it's not a padlock. It is a uh, S abloy. It says uh, Corbin Rustwin S abloy on the uh, cylinder. Um, I got to be honest with you, I don't remember who sent this to me, but uh, I do know it's stock, or at least I'm pretty damn sure it's stock. Uh, We'll get to taking it apart if I can get it open again on camera. But um, there's the bidding on the key. Uh, pretty damn good. Not bad for a stock lock. Lock does work like a charm. And got to tell you, it's a pretty darn good. Uh, the tolerances are pretty damn good because uh, I can pick a uh, stock lock, especially these cylinders, you know, usually pretty darn good. Um, getting better anyways and uh, this one here I notice it's got some pretty good tolerances I will be let me get zoomed in a little bit now Whew, I was just running around the house doing things so I'm, <laughs> I'm winded uh, and I will be using uh, one of these sparrows I think it's called the uh, uh, offset hybrid out of the uh, tuxedo royale set now somebody asked me before why they called it that and why I'm why, wild. I'm not positive. I think the hybrid part is maybe because it's kind of like this. Um, it's kind of like this. Uh, what do they call it? Half diamond, which it is kind of a half diamond, and it's part uh, hook. Although it's a low hook, so maybe that's part of the hybrid. It's part half diamond and part hook. I really don't know, but it does make sense because it's just like that with a little bend in it. So maybe, maybe not. Uh, let me know in the comments. Probably know better than I do. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm going to put the uh, tensioner in the top. And I'm going to go counterclockwise because that's how I was able to open it. And let's get to picking. But yeah, I did notice the, uh, the tolerances in this thing are quite well. A little click there, I think it was one. Bouncy on two. Three. Not sure about that. Four. Five. Click there, I think it was two. Feels like I'm set up front, I'm not positive though. It's really, really hard to tell. That's why I'm kind of using my two fingers here to try to feel it a little better because uh, it's really not like most locks. Okay, now I got a little bit of a. There we go. Boom, just like that. I mean, when you're, uh, that's why I was using both fingers here. You're really uh, trying to feel them pin set. It's super, super light. So, uh, very, very well made lock. I can tell you that by the feel of it. Okay, so let's get, whoa, wrong way. Let's get back down a bit. Let's get this thing out of the vise and just see what they got in these. Uh, that's abloys here. Come down over here a little bit. And we're still in the uh, breast cancer awareness month, so we're using the pink stuff still. And bring it down some more. Alrighty, I think that's going to have to do. Alright, so uh, we're very much open. Fair enough. Um, go ahead and lock it back up since we do have a key and get this clip off the back somehow huh uh, maybe I can push it out of there oh look at that that worked like a charm <laughs> awesome must be a good day maybe I ought to try one of them really tough locks I've been trying to pick maybe I'm having one of my on days all right um, 
you know there is it's not a challenge lock but there is still uh, some gaps back here so I may go ahead and see if I can just get a shim in there just just because why not why not right it's better to be over cautious than under uh, this may not be the right follower let me see oh no that's pretty big let me try this guy there we go all right good choice and we've got a six pinner looks like they all need ooh looks like a number uh, let me get my pokey where we at looks like number six barely needed picking yep just enough to tease you you see that one just enough just had to touch it all right let's get them laid out here yeah I'll tell you what man these uh the tolerances on this thing are just fabulous and like I said at the beginning um I don't remember who sent me this so uh Please let me know if you uh, recognize it, because um, I don't remember uh, buying this one or um, maybe having it in a in a bunch of locks that I bought. I don't recall, so I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm sure there's nothing done on these cores. I don't think there's anything. You know what? Let me let me see if there's anything at all in there maybe a rim no there's nothing nothing at all okay uh let's go upstairs and get some of these out where are we at bada boom bada bang what a freaking great lock these are though man i'm telling you standard right there i'm just gonna lay these out like i said it's not a challenge lock this is stock lock sunday so uh this isn't major right here I guess the main thing is just to uh, show that everything is in the lock, and I picked the uh, actual lock. Springs are cool. I'd like to know where to get some of those. My uh, the ones I usually get the uh, they're called Tangle Free. I guess I really like those, but these look like they're yeah, these are nice and they're really stiff. I'd like to get some of those somewhere. All right, so four, looking for five. And the last one, but not least. All right. Spring's not cooperating. I could see it. All right, you know what? It's in there. It may have got. Uh, it may be stuck on that deal right there. So I'm gonna leave it. There's no big deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at these pins real quick. Again, that was a um, Corbin Russwin Asa Abloy. That's a lot to take in. Uh, let me see. How do they look? They look good. All right. So, yeah, obviously just all standard key pins and all standard drivers. I was thinking maybe these would have the little, uh, maybe, what are they, barrel pins or something in there? But uh, all these are real, real standard. So I wasn't really expecting that, honestly. Because uh, it did, well, I guess with the tolerances, it still made it really, really tough, but... Okay, that's what we got, y'all. That's uh, another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. And uh, that'll wrap it up. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, if uh, any of y'all are, are fascinated, which I think you are, uh, because you're probably watching me and you're probably picking locks, um, we like the way these locks, you know, how figuring out how they work and, and the mechanics of them and all that cool stuff. I came across something the other day on, uh, it was on, uh, YouTube I think um, but look this up if you get a minute Google this right here I'm not even gonna try to say it but it was some kind of mechanical machine type thing that was uh, dated 
way, way back. They have no clue. Like, uh, there wasn't even supposed to be machines or anything mechanical. I mean, the thing had a bunch of gears to it. Anyway, just Google this. Trust me. It's a trip. It's way, be way before any time that anything like that should have been made. And I just found it very interesting. So, anyways, that'll do her. Big Al, signing out.